Napa Valley parents upset this morning, worried overcrowding is making their kids commute to school unsafe. In fact, one day last week, a mom tells me her daughter had to sit in the aisle because she couldn't fit in a seat with two other students. So this morning, we're digging deeper into this issue to find out the rules of the road when it comes to getting your kids to school safely. Overcrowding, students sitting on the floor, buses arriving late. That's what parents in one Deer Valley Unified neighborhood say is happening. That was frustrating. It was very frustrating. Michelle Baker has three kids in the district and says her daughter, who's in high school, is the one in this photo seen sitting on the floor. Even though the district maintains there was room for her daughter in a seat with two other students. But Michelle says there's more to the story. Um, and she was actually the child that was sitting three to a seat and then sat on the floor. She is very tall, so it was a very uncomfortable situation and she was partially sitting on another child and it wasn't comfortable for that child. So she chose to sit on the floor briefly and then tried to get back up but she couldn't continue sitting on another another kid. It does uh, create not just an uncomfortable situation, but again, a very unsafe one. I reached out to DPS who tell me, quote, there is no law that spells out how many kids can sit in a seat, but they did reference Arizona Administrative Code 1313-104. And in paragraph five, it says, quote, all passengers shall sit with their backs against the seat backs, their legs facing towards the front of the school bus and all parts of their bodies clear of all aisles whenever the school bus is in motion. Parents say that's not what's happening. I was putting adult sized children stacked on each other. The school says part of the issue is they need more drivers. It's a problem plaguing districts across the country. Ideally, until they can address their staffing issues, do a second run if somebody calls out. Um, call, let the school know the bus is going to be late, the children are going to be late. Shannon Ross also has a daughter in high school. What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear is they're going to get in a traffic incident or they're going to have an emergency that's going to create a situation where the kids need to evacuate the vehicle immediately and children are going to get trampled and hurt. So I asked Deer Valley Unified to sit down for an interview. They declined but agreed to answer my questions via email. So here's a summary of what they sent me late last night. The district tells me at no point in time was the bus over its capacity limits. They also reached out to the bus manufacturer who maintains you can sit three to a seat. The district has reminded all drivers to tell students to keep clear of the aisles. Now, as far as late buses, I'm told the district notifies families by email or text message if a bus isn't going to be there on time. This is partly because drivers have had to double up on routes, and that's because they're short on drivers, like so many districts across the state and across the country. The district has about 25 open bus positions they need to fill, so if you're interested in applying and to see more of the district's response to my questions, check out this story. It's up on ABC15.com.